this is project VB here and today I'm gonna show you a quick tutorial on how to create a normal test box in Microsoft Visual Basic 2008 Express Edition so I'm gonna send a link on the description to this video uh, to download the Visual Basic and when you've installed that and open it up you see this little box right here okay so first off go up here where it says new project press that one and you get this little screen here that says new project templates you should choose Windows Forms application from the Visual Studio installed templates okay and go down here to name we're gonna rename it to test box okay and we're gonna press OK and then it's going to load up this uh, we call it a form yeah so this is a form right here this little window and we're going to make it a little bigger because we're going to use it like that yeah perfect so uh, first off we're going to change the name from form 1 to test box version 1.0 so going down here where it says properties and you've selected form 1 go down to where it says text and press next to that and it says form 1 with a bold text and highlight that and just type test box version 1.0 and press enter now you see up here that's uh, that it changed the name from uh, form 1 to test box version 1.0 okay and uh, let's make this very very colorful so we're going to scroll up on the properties to back color and it says control just press that control text and next to that one you get an arrow press that and you get this menu here that says system all the si different system colors that are used in Windows XP all the web colors that are used and custom it's the normally used web ta tablets and we're going to web we're going to choose a pretty warm and also fun color so we're going to use forest green press that and you change the background color to forest green and um, that's the base thing of making the test box so now we're going to make a text and so we go up to toolbox here and go down to label where it says just label not link label label just label and you move that over the test box and you see there's a little plus sign and an A just that's normal for this so just click on the test box once and it comes this little box here that says label one okay and select that label one and go down to properties down again to the text and rename it from label one to let's name it uh, type project Vis visual basic project VB and I'm gonna center it like that perfect and now I'm going to make it a, a little bigger uh, text so go down or go up to where it says font now press that where it says Microsoft Sans Serif press that and then go to browse you get this menu up here and you're going to select a cool text here and I'm going to use Verdana and go to make it fat or bold then make it 20 yeah 20 in size and then you get this right here project visual basic and then I'm going to insert an image so I'm going to comma controls and press picture box. Otherwise you can double click it or you can just click once and then uh, go over the test box and click and drag to make a win little box here where you can put your little picture. Okay. And now here we're going up to this little arrow on the on the picture box. 
and you get this here that says picture box tasks and then go up to this link that says S choose image press that one and to get this window here that says select resource and we're going to use local resource so mark that and press import now I don't really got a cool picture for this but I'm going to use an example picture of the winter no this one right here because it's green background perfect and just that now you can see it's too big for the little box but don't care about that just press ok when you've selected it you see it's too big yeah go to size mode here on the picture box tasks go to size mode and choose stretch image that will create uh, that will make the image fit perfectly in the little picture box you've just made and you've seen that it's perfectly placed here you can use your uh, arrow keys to nudge it if you want to and um, <clears throat> Yeah, that's about it. I'm going to move that up a little bit. Okay. So, now we're going to make a close window button. Clo a close window button is when you can press that little button and it closes the window instead of pressing the X up here. So, go up to comma controls. Below the pointer, it says button. Okay. And just mark that and click and drag on the test box. I'm going to make the button this big right there and it says button one and uh, yeah select the button one and go down to text again because text is basically what it's going to sh show that's the text that's going to show the the things on the GUI and up here on the data bindings it says name that's just the name of the little for uh, the little object you've just created so you can know what kind of button is so you don't mess it up with all, all other objects but go down to text and we're going to type exit window and you see that it's changed the text to exit window here I'm going to make it a little smaller like that perfect I got that button here but now it just because you typed exit window it doesn't exit the window you have to fix that um, the C++ or something yeah C++ code so select double click the button you get this right here it says form1.vb and then a little star that's the little tech little code here and you select button 1 up here with where it says class name it says and then it says private sub button one underscore click that means that when you click it this command is going to happen so we're going to type me for me me dot and then type close whoops close yeah and then it says public sub close closes the form you just double click it and then you're done so now we got that close button fixed and now we're just going to try it so first off press F5 on your keyboard or press this start button here that says start debugging press that and it's going to load and it's going to load up this application we've just created like that so here's the window we've just created with the exit button the image and the text so we're going to press and exit window and it does exits the window and now we when we have debugged it it means that we have looked for any errors or something like that and uh, now we're done with that so we're going to save it as a project so we're going to up to file save all and we're going to browse it and put it on the desktop name it project vb test box and unmark this where it says create directory for solution just don't care about that and press save and now it have just saved the window and the project so we're going down to desktop and here you got that little folder with where your project is right now it says project VB test box go into that folder 
I just don't care about this. Just uh, go into bin, the bin folder, then the debug folder, and here you go. Here you get the test box. The test box is little here. Okay, perfect. Now we're going to copy that one. And there it is. And go down to desktop and paste it. Okay, so here's the test box GUI that we've just made. And just double click it. And you get your little application. You have that. You have that. You have done. Okay, it's a form. Form one. You can make it bigger, make it smaller. Just ugly as hell if you make it bigger. Or you can, you can fix that later. Okay, so here you got the text, the image, and the close window button. So we're going to press that and see what happens. Yay, it exits the window. So now we've just made a success, successful test box in Visual Basic.